Let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. Thank you for coming to my channel, Delp Snell's 4 Days World, where we drop down and talk about anything in the entertainment entertainment world as well as the celebrities that dwell in them. Okay, let's get to the point. The point is Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore and Mark Daly's explosive breakup caught on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And of course, you're trying to say, well, what's so, you know, explosive about that? Well, he called her attention for it. Let me say it again because I know it shot the shit out of some of y'all. Because y'all were riding high and, and heavy for Mr. Mark Daly. Now, all of this is allegedly, of course. But while they were filming at that little uh, Wimbush house, I was telling y'all he was doing a little uh, entrepreneurship type of relations. And, and trying to bring out some positivity. Well, honey, he called his wife, Kenya Moore, an attention whore. Okay. Well, let's get on into it or what I feel about it. Because I haven't read it. Like I told y'all, I've been kind of like under the weather here and there. Then I got up in the wee hours of this morning trying to bring out a video. But something else caught my attention. Because I said, y'all going to be there for that Kenya stuff. And there's plenty more people out there to, that can tell y'all about it, but they can't do it the way I do it, okay? So I wanted to, when it broke out on the 19th, is when I think all the stories start flowing through all the social media feeds and all of that, and I had all intentions, yes I did, all intentions of bringing it to you. But I was like, okay, no big deal, you know, they can wait on it, because a lot of them are Kenya ride or dies, twirl, 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 and I know I didn't want to be the first one that break it out, you know, because I've done some first time breaking out before a lot of people were getting it and, and introducing it to uh, YouTube, so I kind of agreed with her for a few minutes. I said, I'm going to press off the gas because she need her time to reflect because anybody knows when twirl, 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 tornado gets, gets the swirling, okay, and whirling and tearing down shit. People houses, people tents, people's minds, she going to come with it, okay? Because that's drama field. And she got all her name wrote on it. She's spinning like a mad-ass tornado. She got Ma. She got uh, the baby in there. She got the uh, so-called uh, castmates in there. She just a twirl, a twirl and got baby Brooklyn all over. Just she fight everybody at the time. Just just going around like a little windmill. Just fight, 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 fight in one big circle. Okay. And got uh her baby cub on her back. All right. So she, if they want to attack or try to get her, she just fight. Can you see a little whirlwind? Just turn and turn and turn and turn and turn like a spinning top. And she's just knocking everybody out the the box. Everybody out their way. Just everybody. You know, just it was just too much. Okay. But that's not, we got some people grieving, can you, at this time. So I did not want to break it right away. So I'm like that smooth drink that you drink and then it catch up with you later on. Like, boop, there I am. Okay. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka. Whoop, there it is. Shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka. Whoop. There it is, there it is, there it is. So I got to the point that y'all know what I'm going to talk about. And I can't wait until I get enough more money so y'all can see my antics, my facial expressions. Because right now I wish I could give it to you. <laughs> but I can't take my daughter's computer. You know, she out of town having fun with her boyfriend. They in Savannah, Georgia doing it up. And I'm here with you all uh, cutting up on the tube. Okay? But anyway, um... Yeah, I got a side. I, I sidetracked myself. Let's get back to the story. Let's get back to the issue at hand. Yes, Mark Daly calling his wife, Kenya Moore, an attention whore. Okay? Not hoe, but whore. Okay? I'm like, that ain't no man that sound like he loved his wife for two years. Okay? The uh, woman that bared down, laid, and, and brought his baby into fruition. Their miracle baby. Okay? That ain't no man that seem like he got no love for Team Twirl or Team or, or Kenya herself. Okay, so I need everybody to swarm down on him. Okay, and tear him up if he had a social media feed, which I don't think he do. And if he did, he probably have it off. Okay, off as in didn't pay the bill. Okay, but getting back to it, we're gonna get right on into it because when I heard that, 
I would have been like swinging. You call me what? It's just like you in the back in the day when you were in high school or elementary or however you got down, and somebody said something about your mama. Now you probably could spoke about your dad, your dog, or whatever. But if you were just temperamental like me, you could say my house and I'm on I'm on your ass. Okay, I'm on your ass. All right. Sometimes I got my ass beat, but I I won a lot than the ones I lost. Okay, I won a lot more than I lost. Let's put it like that. And I was fighting people. I'm five two. Can you picture it? I'm I'm trying to fight people five six, five seven. <laughs> okay. And they just hit me. They they hits coming down on me, and I'm trying to catch the hits going up. But when I start learning how to kick them in their kneecaps and their private places, oh, that bark the whole animal down. Okay. That bought the giraffe down to me, my level. Okay, but I'm just saying, I'm just, just kind of show y'all how I get down. I'm not, I, I, I'm not a person that like go back and forth. I'm with them hands. Okay, I'm one of them kind of OGs. I ain't got time for you. All right. And if I if I have to shut you up, then I'm gonna shut you up. So back then, you could fight and get away with it because you weren't doing that but using your body. You know, your hands, your feet, your uh teeth or whatever. You know, you weren't picking up guns and and knives and bats. Well, we didn't have bats at the time. If only you had a hand at, you know, and that's usually was in your house or whatever. But you were in them street fights out there after school. You just got your bare hands, okay? And your feet and like I say, your teeth. But moving on, we're going to get into this article uh, right quick, fast, and a hurry. And then I want y'all to get down in them comments to tell me what y'all felt about Mar Daly, Colin, Kenya, Y'all folks, okay, and she my folks too. That's why I'm up here trying to take up for. I'm like, girl, when he before he could get the oil out, I would have been upside his eye, not his face, his eye. I would have been dotting him, boop, 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 okay, and then one to the chest. But we're gonna go on, we're gonna go on because he's a pretty boy anyway. He probably didn't know how to defend himself, you know. And then if you probably Try to hit him in the face or whatever. He probably trying to block because he wanted his good looks to get messed up. That's just what I was doing. That's how I pretty much felt about it. Okay. All right. But going into the article, it was, let me see what it was written by. Oh, I guess it's just a staff personnel. They didn't give their uh, name or anything. It was just the article that was published on the 20th, which, was, like I said, was Friday. And uh, they went with a title such as this. Kenya Moore and Mark Daly's explosive breakup caught on Real Housewives of Atlanta cameras. Okay. And I'm pretty sure without me reading it, because, you know, I like, like I said, I like to read with you all and catch the story and the tea while it's being poured. Okay. While well, everybody's in attendance. I think he was, it was at that Wimbush House event he had on the 17th. Okay. And all hell just went loose. Everything went left. Everything went south. Okay, cause Kenya don't look jail light, and she don't take privilege to be looking like a fool. Cause she come all the time looking ready, staying ready, and she be locked, loaded, and ready to spray. Yep, I can give that to Kenya more, cause she be ready. I, I she don't care if it's your mama out there. She got something to say about her too. Might be a little disrespectful, but it's always tasteful when she do it. But yeah, she got something for her too. But it goes in to say, following reports that Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are calling it quits on their marriage, comes word uh, that the former couple got into an explosive fight with Real Housewives of Atlanta cameras rolling that led to their split. Okay? The very thing that he talked about tore them apart. But you know, I'm like, hey, for those who believe it was a real marriage, I'm sure, pretty sure y'all were devastated. But me, myself, and I... I knew it was fictitious. It was a uh, a, a storyline, a plot, and a play sh starring and produced executive uh, credits rolling for Kenya Moore. Okay. Anyway, it goes back to the article we have, Real Housewives of Atlanta on September 17th. According to the reports, the charity event for Black Man Lab was hosted by Mark. So see, yeah, that's where the event took place and that's where all the shit started. Okay. And ended, apparently. Okay, it says the inside told Radar that Daly called Moore an attention whore. Okay, they put it in parentheses, so we need to stop, look at it, rethink, catch ourselves, get ourselves together, and go back and say, rewind, rewind. What did he say? Did he say that? Okay, go call Joe, Herman, Bobby, Ted. Lu Lu Lucius, 
and, and Bobby Mac down the street. Okay, go get them. Go get them because we got to handle some things. And if the women break out, then I got the women part. But go get, go to get them, the men, so they can fight this man for me for calling me out my name. Because my name was Kenya Moore. My, my mama and my, my grandmama named me Kenya Moore. Or my grandmama named me Kenya Moore. Anyhow, nothing about no attention for her in that name. Okay, that's filed in the state of Georgia. Okay, no, 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 no. That's not on my social security. That's not on my driver's license. Who the heck do he think he is? Okay, all right. Going back, it says, um, uh, and told, well, okay, let's go back. The insider told Radar that Dayla called Moore an attention whore and told Eva's Marcellus husband that he is tired of Kenya's shit. The sources feel. Now you see what I'm saying? Now, hey, now. <laughs> Mark and uh, Sterling, my Sterling, Eva's husband, they're acting like some itches up there, okay? When did two men talk like that? That seemed like they were gossiping already. But it seems like Tora Mayor already put a nail in her coffin when it came to her husband and her family life. So it might have been something that just kept brewing and brewing and brewing. And he got tired. Kenya. He's like, okay, I'm finna go get this tea dropped off to this man because I know he is ain't nothing but an itch and he's gonna go tell and then that's how I'm gonna get out of this contract that I uh, agreed to be a part of with Miss Kenya Moore. Okay, so I, you know, I, I peep game more. I peep game. You were tired. You were trying to tell Kenya behind the scene that you wanted out. She wasn't doing anything quick for you. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna embarrass her behind on real TV. She's gonna uh, force be forced to leave me, which I had already told her I wanted that from the beginning. All of this is allegedly, all of this is playing in my mind, but it sounds good to me as a rational, relatable story line. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it said the insider told Radar that Marlo Hampton overheard Mark talking smack. So she told co-star Cynthia Bailey, Nene Leakes, and Eva about the conversation which Kenya overheard. Meaning Kenya was there when she heard the heard the heard okay the conversation that was going on about her and it wasn't positive and it wasn't no uh really itchy type stuff going on between women this is what they heard came out of you know came up to their eardrums okay that they had to decipher is he talking about kenya Moore, his wife his baby mama is that's what he talking about? oh he talking about kenya frost down the street who the hell is he talking about Come to find out, Kenya Moore, okay? His baby mama. Oh, anyway, going back to the uh, article, it says the source said Kenya was understandably furious and her husband at her husband's comments and their confrontation was caught on camera. Oh, what that would have been like a fly on the wall. She would have been hot and I would have given her articles to throw at him. A dish, a plate, a spoon, a fork, a knife. <laughs> and she would throw it. I was replenishing her with items to still throw at his ass. Okay. I was like, a target. Okay. A dartboard. Okay. The little spiky arrows that you throw at the dartboard, the pennants or whatever they call it. Man, we would I would have been uh, running out of no items. Everything would have been catch, catching that brother head <laughs> or the body, however you want to call it. That's the day I would have stuck up for Kenya more, full-fledged and in force. I would be like, sister, are you ready? Let's take this eager down, okay? But anyway, that's how I roll. Now, like I said, I always been there for Kenya, but when she stepped out in social media and she put out foul shit and she, you know, treat people uh, every day um, going, we call it on the go people. She don't, she don't treat them right. She don't treat them with no pleasantries and some nice deeds. Because we're from Atlanta. We Southern Bells, true to form, the ones who were raised in the South, okay? We know all about hospitality. We know all about forgiveness. We know all about the etiquette you're supposed to play towards another human being. So when I heard that, all my little talk, I wanted to get Kenya, her advice of her being a Southern Bear. Uh-uh, we've been up, been up in that camp with uh, Vaseline, rings on, uh, Timberland boots ready to go, and we've been tying up our hat. I'm natural, so it didn't care if they pulled my hair, but I didn't want them to like, pull my scalp, trying to take out my real natural hair. And I'd be like, oh, y'all need to get that ponytail, that weave and weeds together, take them out, whatever, because we going in. I was, we have lock loaded our target, and we ready to jump. We ready to pounce like panthers. Whoop! Little condo, where are you at? You see how I get so excited, y'all? Woo! So I wish I, I went between Team Twirl. I read a twirl. Ready to twirl some tap some shit around now. Yes, I was. Yes, I'm on Team, team Kenya Twirl. I am not 
Uh, I'm not unbiased on this situation. I was down and ready to go with the Kenya parade. Kenya, 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 Kenya. That's why I've been hollering and I had my trumpet. Like we finna go on this horse. We finna ride. We back in the us. Uh, we back in the west. We in the wild wild west. Okay, y'all get them from the east. We'll get them from the south. And I got my uh, other girls to hear a housewife cast to hit that east and uh, women. I would have been at the north. Kenya would been at the south. And I would have had the other team, meaning the rest of the uh cop. Colleagues hitting the east and the west. Okay, we'd have been attacking him for all four sites. All four sites. Southwest, northeast. Woo! We would have been on that rubble. Okay, going back to the article, it said um, Mark just doesn't want to be on TV. It is plain and simple, the insider told Radar. Kenny was shouting all sorts of threats at Mark, and the cameras kept rolling. The insider added of their troubled relationship. It had been coming ever since she started filming again. Mark doesn't return her calls. He doesn't want to come to Atlanta. Doesn't see the baby. It is all very upsetting to Kenya. Which I don't know why it was upsetting to Kenya. Because a man had told you from day one he didn't want to be on camera. So you chose to stay off the show for a, a, a year or a season. And you know you saw your money dwindling. Yes, I'm gonna get another video on out of this one. Not this one, but it's coming. Okay, on the same subject and what they she allegedly did for Mr. Mark Davis. I don't know if it's true, but like I said, I'm gonna report it to you and y'all digest it, throw it back up, and do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, it's you all uh, and how y'all wanna um take hold of the information. Okay, but it says uh she is. Wait a minute. Okay, four times doesn't live there. Okay, it says Mark has only been to Atlanta a few times to film with Kenya and the baby, but he doesn't live there and he isn't there full time, the source added. Kenya is in a long distance relationship and that is hard as a mom, as a wife, and as someone on reality show. Now, see, that's when I jumped out the Kenya train. I'm like, didn't you know this shit? Didn't you know this shit could possibly happen to you? Everything don't last forever. Sometimes we get out of marriage, we go the whole distance. And it's um, death that's separating us, meaning one of us have died and we're single again and we choose or choose choose not to marry again. Just up to that uh, that particular uh, person. But yeah, when she started talking about having a long distance relationship and they just got married, uh-uh, that wouldn't play. I'm like, can you? Nope, don't have no baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh, well, don't get married. One of the two, y'all need to decide before y'all went over there to St. Lucia's and got married. Where y'all were gonna live? How is this gonna look? And how is your career gonna be affected? Because you like the work, you like to grind for yours, so you can have yours because anything goes south. And then if he was like giving you static, I've been like, um, we call it um um uh, James Brown. Static, yeah, static, yeah, won't be no static, yeah. Don't start no, won't be no static, don't static, static, don't. Y'all remember that? Get into it. You had to be like born in 68 to understand all this I'm throwing out at y'all. Okay. But anyway, moving on. It said, uh, <coughs> excuse me. She is really struggling being basically a single mom since her husband works so much in New York. Said inside. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. We don't want to hear about that. Um, we don't want to hear about that. Okay, we don't want to hear about Kenya, you know, having a breakdown and all this kind of stuff. Now, nah, because King Tori, y'all need to uplift that woman and tell her, uh-uh, we don't take no prisoners. We are women. We are warriors. If we have to do it by ourselves or we choose to do it by ourselves, we will not let a man bring us down or tear us down. That's the number one rule, okay? That's the number one rule, self-preservation, all right? Oh, uh, let me see. Then we go on to the source previously revealed. Can you feel like, okay, she's doing, okay. So see, that's all I have for this video, y'all. But check me on the next video. Uh, get to the point. I hope y'all enjoy this segment where I come out and just tell y'all what's on the table before I serve it up to y'all. Okay? And then you can kind of feel like, if it's not for you, if my channel's not for you, at least you gave, uh, I get, you gave me 60 seconds of your life. <laughs> okay? And that was cool enough. But for the ones that rock from the first beginning of the video to the end, love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Okay. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, like. And again, subscribe. All right. See y'all next video. Bye bye.